I am Augustino Osoro Onkware, the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of Academic and Student Affairs, Rongo University. To all our new students, welcome to Rongo University. I wish first and foremost to congratulate you for having passed well in your examinations and in succeeding to join the university, specifically Rongo University. The Division of Academic and Student Affairs is in charge of student welfare. It's also in charge of academic activities. The student welfare range from where the students stay, where the students eat, health matters, and so on and so forth. The academic matters include how students attend classes, how they do their practical sessions, how they do their attachments, and the various examinations that are associated with learning. Now, uh, in addition to the learning health matters and where the students stay, we also provide recreational facilities and we encourage all students to participate in recreational facilities and participate to the fullest to exploit and improve their talent in co-curricular activities. We also have a code of conduct for the students and it's important that the students read, understand and live by the code of conduct because we live in a community that we want to show the benefit of having a university around them. We don't want students to be part of a problem to the community, but to be a blessing to the community. Occasionally, we may request students to participate in community affairs, outreach, and support for various activities that we extend to the community. And for this, we give emphasis because it enables the students to grow and develop into useful citizens because this way they understand how the community lives. In addition to all this, of course, most of the students are young and for the first time they are being uh, in a position where they are living away from the parents. The students will have to learn to manage their own affairs, manage their health, manage their finances, manage how they eat, manage their time. And we request all students to be conscious of the need to take care of themselves and take care of their studies. Remember that the bottom line is not that you came to university, but what you learn at the end and what you go away with from the university. And that usually is in form of certificates, but also in improved character and development of your humanity and a service to community. The student welfare and student affairs unit 
is headed by the Dean of Students. And we will encourage all students to engage with the Dean of Students office because that's where we have guidance, that's where we have counseling, that's where we have uh, personnel who are well trained to guide them in their career development. In the academic subunit, we start with the deans of the schools who then work with the heads of the department and the lecturers who are assigned to the various departments to train and teach in various courses. We request students to attend all the lectures that are indicated on the timetable in relation to the courses that they will be learning. Because failure to attend to the classes would mean to suspension, to repeating classes, or sometimes to expulsion. But of course, we don't want to go to those extreme measures. We know that students will take their learning seriously, attend their classes, attend to their practical sessions, attend the examination sessions, and in the end attain the degree that they came to get at the university. We have a period within which students may be allowed to transfer from one program to another if they qualify to join the second program. We ask the students to take advantage of that opportunity to eventually pick on the areas that they think they wish to do most. And that usually is within the first two or so weeks of their reporting at the university. But at the end of the day, the students will eventually graduate, of course, but we also wish them to develop character, to become mature, to become sensible, to become responsible, and to be able to take care of themselves in a manner that in future they will be useful to themselves, the societies from which they came from, and the nation at large. Thank you very much, and I wish you a nice day at Rongo University as we work together on improving your knowledge, improving your growth, and eventually making us all better placed to serve this country. Now with that, I wish to invite my colleague, the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of Administration, Finance and Planning, Professor Stanley Shitote to address the meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Agostino Nguare, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic and Student Affairs, for giving me this opportunity to address the students. As you have been told, my name is Stanley Shitote. I am the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of administration, finance, and planning. Let me start by congratulating all of you for your success in the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education Examinations and your admission to the various programs of Rongo University. Welcome to Rongo University. Your cohort has endured the challenges brought forth by the coronavirus pandemic. The school calendar was seriously interrupted as, as a result of the pandemic. And as such, you concluded your secondary education in unusual circumstances. We are all grateful that you overcame the circumstances and you are here to start your university studies. We can see that whatever the circumstances, man will always devise ways to continue with the, the various activities of life. And so, here you are starting your first year of study at the university in spite of the pandemic. I will talk to you briefly about the Administration, Finance and Planning Division of the university. 
it is one of the two major divisions of the, of the university, the other being academic and student affairs. We often refer to it as the AFP division. In general, the division provides support services to ensure the smooth running of the core activity of the university, which is, of course, academics. The AFP division handles, among others, the following. Human resource services, and that is all matters pertaining to the staff required for the operation of the university. Administrative services, such as repair and maintenance of facilities, uh, water supply, energy, infrastructure, and central services. The division also is also in charge of development of new infrastructure. And indeed, if you visit the campus, you will find a number of projects under construction. We also have the hostels and catering section. Indeed, the university has some limited accommodation, accommodation facilities on campus, but we also support students as much as possible to settle in accommodation outside the university by linking them to various landlords. The division also develops and implements long-term plans of the university. It provides health services, transport services, and financial services. In finance, we have a system which you'll need to be familiar with in order to be up to date with your financial status with the university. And this is also quite important for your smooth progress over the semesters. While on campus, you will experience most of the services offered by the division. More information will be provided by the various officers coordinating the services. As you are aware, many institutions worldwide have adopted online communication. We cannot be left behind. I sincerely hope that your respective circumstances will allow you a good connection to the various systems, including the learning platforms. I wish you a good experience as you start your life at the university and throughout your whole time at this university. Thank you. And now it is my humble pleasure to welcome our Vice Chancellor, Professor Samuel Gudu, to address you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this special opportunity to welcome you to Rongo University. We are glad that you have got opportunity to join Rongo University. I take this opportunity to recognize your performance and dedication to education that has earned you a place in one of the, the best public universities in this country. I know it took you a lot of time hard work and dedication, and God was on your side, you got opportunity. You have now uh, one of the people who will be graduating in a few years to come. And this is not a mean performance. It took a lot of your time, and opportunity has just been placed in front of you. As you join Rongo University, I want to congratulate also your parents, guardians, and sponsors that supported your education until it has come to the point where you are now joining the university. And we also pray for them and yourself too that you would get opportunity to move until you finish your education and that you still require the guardians, the parents, and all those that support you in your education. And therefore, I just want to pray and advise that you, take, you make good opportunity that has come your way. As you look back to your performance in uh, secondary school, I would want to advise you to continue doing well the way you did because you are entering into a new phase of education 
where your performance, the previous performance will be required, but don't spend too much time over congratulating yourself for the performance that you did in the last four years. You have entered a new phase of life. You, have, you are going to meet many challenges in, within the university. And therefore, I would want you to look forward to the new challenges. And don't imagine that if you performed well in, the, in, in, in Form 4, then you will perform well in the university if you do not listen to the advice that will be given to you by the Vice Chancellor, all the university staff, so that you continue doing well. I want to say that the opportunity to join university is an excellent uh, opportunity that has come your way. What we want to advise at this point in time is that university is a free environment. It is free because nobody is going to ask you to wake up and go to class. We expect you to come and attend all classes. We expect you to be responsible enough to know exactly what brought you to the university. And therefore, it is upon you individually and collectively to make sure that you follow the lectures. The lecturers are going to present themselves to you and teach you, like give you lecture notes. They will be asking you to go and do a lot of reading. They will be expecting that you will be strong enough to be able to do uh, continuous assessment tests and final exams based on your reading, not only from what they have taught, but also from a lot of reading that you would do. We have got a fantastic library. We have got books. We have got online materials for you to, to consult. And therefore, it is up to you to make sure that you take opportunity to read and then do well in your studies. The university environment, you are starting a new environment. It will not be the same like where you had been. Some of you might have not got opportunity to stay outside far from parents. But at this time, we expect you to mature, to, to mature up and be able to move forward as an individual and make your friends so that you have got support to, en to enable you to overcome the academic challenges. In the university, it is not only the academic challenges. You will meet other challenges. You will find some friends who you will be staying with who do, do not, do not uh, know you. It is up to you to make uh, good friends make good friends that would be able to support you and you will also be able to support them uh, when they have got social challenges, financial challenges or academic challenges. I really want you to form teams that would be able to support your education. Within the university we have got, we have got the dean of students that will be able to support you if you have got uh, any uh, welfare problem. We want you to, to report that to the deans of schools or the dean of students. And even up to the vice chancellor, if it is something that you would feel that you can only share with the vice chancellor. I welcome any student who has got major challenges that cannot be, <clears throat> that cannot, that require the attention of the vice chancellor. The office is open and we will be there for you to support you. However, I want to advise that within the university there are, you are going to meet a number of uh, students. Some of them may try to lure you to join bad groups. We want to warn against any student taking illicit brews, misuse of uh, the drugs. You're not supposed to use those uh, illicit drugs. You know the government and the constitution of Kenya does not allow that. I really want to urge you to be upright because your parents and those who sponsor your education are looking up to you as somebody who will be useful in future and will be dependable. So desist and run away from friends that may lure you into bad practice. Those who may not 
want to go to al class every day, those who use the drugs that are prohibited, and therefore I want to pray for you that you do not fall into those bad traps because you have come to get education, be focused and continue doing well the way you did and you will succeed. I want to tell you that, uh, that you have opened your door now to a higher academic echelons. I really would want to see a situation where I meet with you down the street, any street in this country some 10 years to come, and you will be telling me, uh, Professor Gudu, you were once my vice chancellor at Rongo University, and now I'm a branch manager of this bank, or I'm the principal of this high school, or now I'm the ambassador of, 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 of Kenya to this country, to specific countries. I really want success for each one of you and all of you. And therefore, it is up to you from today to start learning and setting up your goals and strategies on how important you will be in future. Remember, this is the beginning of good things to come. And the good things will only come your way if you behave well, if you set goals, if you set strategies that will allow you to attain those goals. I want also to say that uh, in terms of academic, as you enter first years, the first four years will be ending very fast. But remember, there are opportunities even to study, go beyond the first year. And you can be able to do masters and even up to PhD. I encourage all of you to do that. So that this time round you are coming to be taught, but many years to come, you will be the one who is going to be teaching some of the first years in many years to come. So I encourage you to look forward, set high goals, and be dedicated to achieve those goals. For now, I want to also caution you because we have got a pandemic, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic, which is a big challenge to this country and all the countries in the world. The COVID-19 does not select, it is a disease that can can be contracted by anybody. I want to say that it is the way we behave that we can be able to keep safe. As you interact with your fellow students, ensure that you keep distance, you wash your hand most of the times, and also avoid large crowds that can, that can cause uh, uh, that can make you contract the disease. It is with good hygiene and self-discipline that you can be able to avoid contracting this disease. Apart from the COVID-19 pandemic, there are also diseases that can come out of, out of uh, sexual uh, interaction, such as HIV and AIDS. There are also of problems which can come out of those uh, uh, banned drugs which are not required to be taken by people like you. You can have those challenges, either COVID or HIV, or uh, mental problems arising out of use of uh, uh, banned uh, drugs. I really want to, to uh, beseech you to seriously avoid those ones so that we do not lose any one of you because of recklessness or carelessness. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Rungu University provides environment for good environment for learning. And I want you to take advantage of that. Form good groups that will be able to discuss issues that will be able to support your education. We want to uh, tell you in time that we have got excellent lecturers, we have got excellent administrators that would be able to take care of your personal and group problems. Make advantage, or take advantage of those ones. And in the next uh, four years, you graduate exactly within four years.
for those who will not be able to to listen to the advice some of, of you may 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 graduate not exactly in four years and simply because you lost the way somewhere but today i tell you look forward to graduating in exactly four years and we are here to support you may god bless you as you study in rongo university may god give you grace to have good health and to be supportive of your fellow students and your parents thank you so much uh, thank you very much uh, let me take this opportunity to first welcome all of you to rongo university my name is professor nyamuraguyo i'm the registrar academic affairs rongo university rongo university is situated 30 kilometers from kisi and it is along Kisi Migori route at Ketere Hills. All first years are expected to report on the 13th of September, 2021. And uh, before you report, uh, we expect you to have paid your fees and we expect you to have registered online. On the reporting date, please carry your documents with you so that we can uh, open the file for you. Also, I want to remind you that uh, uh, there will be certain courses that will be offered online. So, as you saw in your letter, or as indicated in your letter, we expect you to come with a laptop so that you'll be able to attend those classes online. Well, we'll also give a brief face-to-face uh, -face orientation and this will give you opportunity to meet your professors, deans of schools, and your heads of departments. The first phase orientation will also be a great opportunity for you to access the library, know where our library is, be able to identify our health services, be able to identify our playing fields, agricultural fields, animals that we have around, and many other amenities, you'll be able to observe them during our face-to-face -face orientation. In terms of class attendance, um, our rules require that you attend all classes with a minimum of 80% for you to be allowed to do the exams. Talking about exams, we have two types of exams. We have continuous assessment tests that normally contribute 30% for undergraduate students and 40% for postgraduate students. Then we have got final exams that contribute 70 for undergraduate and 60% for uh, postgraduate. We also offer special exams in case you are not able to do the final exam because of one reason or the other, or supplementary in case you fail to make the first attempt. During your stay at Rongo, it's so important that during your stay at Rongo, you follow certain rules and regulations that have been designed by the university. While the university will try to make your life as comfortable as possible, we expect you to moderate your life. For example, we have got rules and regulations about exams. It tells you you are not supposed to cheat in the exam. And the consequences that follow the cheating or any other exam malpractice are well designed in those rules and regulations. We have also rules and regulations that regulate your behavior here. They tell you, for example, you are not supposed to be drunk and disorderly. You are not supposed to be abusive. And in those rules and regulations that regulate your behavior, the consequences of those misbehavior will result in certain penalties. And those penalties are well defined in those uh, regulations. Once again, let me take up this opportunity to welcome you to Rongo University. And when you come here, please feel free and join our uh, group. I want to say that for those of you who might have problems with the courses they have been admitted in, programs they are supposed to take, we have a small window for transfer of the programs. You can transfer your program within the school 
or you can transfer from one school to the other. So, but you have to take cognizance that there are certain requirements in the program transfer. One of them is the meeting of the minimum requirement for that program. Yeah, so when you come to Rongo University, immediate report, uh, there will be forms that will allow you, you can fill the forms to ask for the transfer to be effective. Once again, thank you very much and welcome to Rongo University. Hi, and welcome to Rongo University. I am Ben Asugo, Dean of Students. We come to you from the Office of the Dean of Students. This is the office for all students. Our major mandate is your general welfare in the university. In particular, we will attend to your needs in the following areas. One, general student welfare support and needs, students' games and sports, the student leadership in the Students' Association, guidance and counseling support, student careers and mentorship, and student personal bereavement in the event a student loses life or is bereaved by a close member of the family. Our office is located at the eastern end of the campus next to the university clinic. We also have an office for games and sports behind the university's graduation square. We encourage students to come and register with us for games and sports because we offer a variety of games in the university, in athletics, basketball, handball, netball, volleyball, hockey, karate, taekwondo, Indoor games include chess, scrabble, and many others, including darts. We encourage you as a student while in university to explore your talents, come and exercise your talents, and the university will give you the exposure so that you participate in the competitive games with other universities in Kenya and beyond. The Office of the Dean of Students also coordinates and supports the student's finance system by coordinating with Higher Education Loans Board. We also coordinate the bursary support through the CDFs and county governments and any other sponsor. We also coordinate internal opportunities for work study for students while you are in the university. We want to encourage you to feel most welcome in Rongo University, and in the event of any challenge, please always feel free to walk to our office and share with us your challenge. We'll, we'll try to help you to understand and identify possible solutions. Once again, we thank you very much for choosing Rongo University, and we want to wish you all the success as you undertake your studies in Rongo University. Thank you and welcome. Hello, my name is CPA Janet Chumba, the head of finance subdivision of Rongo University. Allow me to congratulate you and to welcome you to Rongo University. We understand the difficult times with which we are operating, but we are also confident that by now you are all capable of observing the requirements that will keep you safe. As you start your journey, we shall be able to hold your hands through the process, we have put in place through our ICT unit a seamless system of registration that will make it easy for you to register from the comfort of your home. The finance subdivision has several sections. Among them is the student finance section with six school accountants at your service. You will be able to get to know them as we continue to interact. My staff and I have the pleasure of helping you during finance registration process. Uh, the teamwork and the careful planning as we welcome our students is always a special experience. 
we are a community that works together to deliver quality service to our customers and that sense of community service is a part of what makes this university special and now you are part of that community. At the student finance section we will be able to share with you the following information, the fee payment policy, the relevant fee structures for the various courses, how to do finance registration, how to access and interpret your fee statement, how to claim any refunds where applicable, compliance issues, important deadlines, and any other fee-related matters. I encourage you to continuously engage us for any assistance with regards to your fee issues at any time of need. We are here to support you and to ensure that your experience at Rongo University remains memorable. Once again, congratulations for choosing to join Rongo University. Thank you. My name is Joel Nakitare, the university librarian. I want to take this chance to join my colleagues in congratulating you and welcoming you to Rongo University. And in a very special way, I want to welcome you to Rongo University Library. As you start off your new academic journey, I want to encourage you from onset that please find time to read, find time to grow your knowledge, find time to expand your ability and uh, capacity in the area of your training. And there's no other way you'll be able to do that without creating time to read, without having a proper strategy to read. So I want to welcome you and give you an overview of the library information resources that we have so that from onset, as you settle, you start reading from the first day of your stay here in the university. So the library as it is now, we have two main sources of information. That is the electronic, uh, we, we call it our digital library, and the conventional library where we have the print information resources. So for the electronic information resources, you will need to register so that we give you the login credentials to the different uh, various databases that we have and more so to give you a bit of tips just how to navigate the information world and more so the open access databases that we find very useful for you. For the print resources, for you to be able to borrow books from the library, again, we'll need to register you and that one we'll be able to do uh, with the data you've already provided in the registration process. But when you come to the library, we'll have to activate that particular account for you to be able to, to use it. I also want to mention that uh, we have different sections in the library, just for you to know. I mentioned three main ones. The first one is the digital section. We have two labs dedicated for students, those who don't have their personal laptops and you want to do a bit of research online. We have digital li uh, library where you can come in and the librarian will assist and enable you to be able to use our computers. We also have the reading halls where you can be able to come and uh, read, have personal reading. And we have one room that we allow a bit of discussion. We call it the discussion room. A third section that I would want to mention to you is our special collection. In the special collection, we have two main sections. One is the thesis and the research, or rather the scholarly output from Rongo University. You'll get to see what other researchers of Rongo University have done. In the same section, we also have a small uh, collection for children books. And these are very useful, especially for those uh, students doing education, so that you start familiarizing some of the content that you will need to use when you go out there. The third section, uh, and very, uh, most important, is our information desk. When you come in, they, you'll always find a librarian on the information desk to assist you, to guide you. So any query that you have, please talk to the librarian at the desk. Lastly, I want to mention that we cannot be able to do this online, but 
we would want to have a more detailed orientation session with each and every class. So I want to encourage that once you start classes and you, uh, elect your class representative, please make arrangement. We will also try to reach out so that we have a more detailed orientation session for each and every class. In this session, we'll be able to show you the various databases, the various uh, information resources that we have, and more so the information services that the library has. But above all, I want to assure you that as academicians, as young researchers, you shall not work alone. The librarians and the whole library department will work with you. Thank you very much and most welcome to Rongo University. Greetings to you all our first years and congratulations for passing your 2020 KCSE. I take this opportunity to welcome you all to Rongo University and I can assure you that it is indeed a gold mine of knowledge. And so on behalf of Health Services Department, I want to say we are so glad to have you on board. Karibu sana. So Health Services, um, this institution we have a health facility it is accredited by the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Board. It is also NHIF accredited. Now we offer services, or basically outpatient services, and it is open 24 hours in a day. So you are welcome to access us for, to seek for health care during the day and also in the night. Some of the uh, services that we do offer are uh, we give both curative and preventive services like we treat minor ailments and we are also able to perform minor surgeries at the same time when it comes to preventive services we offer uh, family planning services because you know that some of the students are married and also others are not married yes but they are sexually active so we are able to give family planning services we also offer antenatal care for those of you who may at one point in the course of uh, studies find yourself pregnant, we are able to take care of you. We also screen for cervical cancer for those who are sexually active and we also do breast cancer screening. So in case you need all those services, they are available at our facility. At the same time, since you only offer outpatient services, we do not have wards to admit. But in case you are so sick to an extent that you need and require admission, we always refer to our nearest sub-county hospital, which is Rongo Sub-County Hospital. But again, we are able to refer to other facilities within the region, for example, Migori uh, Referral Hospital, Homa Bay Referral Hospital, and Kisi Level 6. But this we do after consulting your parents or your guardians. So when you come for services in our facility, you are not required to pay because you pay medical uh, fee in your fees. It is incorporated. So basically in our facility here, you are not required to pay any money. But should you require referral to the facilities outside, then you'll be, we will have to contact your parent or guardian so that they can be able to take care of your bills when you are admitted uh, in facilities that are outside. So it is also important to mention that in this facility, we are um, a total of 14 staff. That is two clinical officers, five nurses. We have one lab technician and we have one pharmaceutical technician. We have a health records officer and we have also a clerk plus office assistants who are three. Otherwise, you are most welcome. And uh, before I forget, uh, to access services in our facility, you will need to come with your student ID card. If you do not have a student ID card, you will need to come with your national ID card plus the letter, the admission letter that called you here. And for those who are still underage and they do not have the national ID card, you are supposed also to come with a copy of your birth certificate plus the admission letter so that we can be able to give you the services. Otherwise, you're most welcome. Thank you so much. Hello, uh, and welcome to orientation, online orientation of first years 2021 of Rongo University. My name is Dr. Lamekrono. 
the acting dean of School of Information, Communication and Media Studies of Rongo University. I take this opportunity to welcome all freshmen cohort of 2020 with open arms to Rongo University and in particular to School of Information, Communication and Media Studies. We usually refer it as Infocoms. On behalf of School of Infocoms, I take this earliest opportunity to congratulate all of you for excelling in your KCSE exams and securing uh, places in our university. And so we are happy and thrilled to welcome you with, to this vibrant and unique community of Rongo University. Uh, School of Information, uh, Communication and Media Studies is one of the largest schools in Rongo University probably the second largest, and it is made up of two departments. The first department is called Department of Communication, Journalism and Media Studies, headed by my colleague who is with me here, Dr. Millicent Gotieno. And the second department is Department of Information Science and Informatics, which I also double up as the chair of that department. From these two departments, we have a number of academic programs which leads to awards and confirmation of various certificates and degrees of Rongo University. Just to mention but a few uh, programs that we offer here in the two departments, we do have programs like PhD in Communication Studies and Master's in Com Communication Studies, which runs all the way to Diploma in communication and in journalism and media studies. Also, we have courses such as certificate in library all the way to bachelor's degree of information science also. We do also have programs in health related uh, sectors such as health systems and health systems management and health records and information management. Uh, coming soon, we shall be launching Master of Science and PhD, uh, Master of Science and PhD in Information Science, and also short courses in videography, photography, graphics, digital editing, communication, music, and performing arts. And also, we intend to have a Cisco Academy to be domiciled in this school. Currently, the school has about 800 continuing students, and from your cohort, we expect at least 500 of you to come to join these uh, 800. And so you can see the population of our school by the numbers that I've just mentioned. And so as you come, we urge you to take your studies with seriousness it deserves and become innovators. We do have clubs and uh, societies in, the, in our school, so feel free to come and pick the society or club of your choice uh, to enable you also uh, to make your stay better in this university. With regards to the staff, our school has a total of 19 competent and experienced academic staff. And in addition, we have seven administrative staff as well as two technical staff. With regards to resources, we are pleased to inform you that School of Information, Communication and Media Studies is well equipped with various resources such as Media Studio, Informatics Lab, resource center, among others that will aid in teaching and learning of various programs that you have been called to come and pursue. As you can see now, School of Infocoms has all, all it takes for you to succeed and excel in your dreams. Just for your information, Infocoms has produced a good number of excellent graduates who are now working in various sectors. And so as you come, 
to join this community. Be sure that we are going also to make you better and realize your dreams. We also do have an, an active alumni, which we also urge you to come and join once you join us. In terms of employability, our, course, our courses are very marketable, right from uh, areas of PR, journalism, linguistics, media and uh, communication, graphics, graphics communication and advertising, informatics, information science in areas of IT or system librarians, as well as archives and management. Um, and so we expect you to come with an open mind as we journey together as, 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 as for the number of years that you'll be with us here. Don't be afraid of trying and experimenting new ideas in your discipline. To parents or guardians uh, who are now watching us today, we want to assure you that your children or your daughters and your sons are in safe hands. We look forward to see you during the day of graduation, hopefully uh, when COVID-19 has been subdued. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking forward to see you in campus face to face with open arms. And uh, with, that few with those few remarks, allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to usher in my colleague, Dr. Milice Nutieno, who is the Chair of Communication and uh, Journalism and Media Studies, to give some few remarks. Thank you. Uh, my name is Dr. Millicent Otieno, Head of Department Communication, Journalism and Media Studies. I take this opportunity to welcome the young men and women who will be joining the department in the next week. The young men and women who will be joining the School of Information, Communication, Media Studies in Rongo University. I would like to take this opportunity to assure you that you made the right choice the choice to come to Rongo University School of Information, Communication and Media Studies is one that you will not regret because it will be beneficial to you in the long run. At the school, we have uh, the facilities that you will need for your courses. The courses in the school are practically oriented and we have the resources that you will need to sharpen your skills in order for you to apply the skills correctly in the various professions that you will eventually find yourselves into. Uh, we have, uh, as has been said, we have the media center, we have the laboratories, and we have highly qualified and committed staff. And so I would like to assure you that this is a world-class university that is committed to offering world-class services. So feel welcome, and as you come, get ready to pull your weight behind the work that is ahead of you. Our courses are practically oriented, as I said before, and therefore it calls for action on your part. So I urge you to come with an open mind, to come and be ready to be innovators. Be ready to be, uh, be ready to explore your potential. Be ready to harness the resources that we have. Be ready to harness uh, the facilities that we have, the human resource that we have, the lecturers that we have, in order for you to be the best in the marketplace. Feel most welcome. With those few remarks, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to, to the, the School of, of Infocos. Yeah, welcome to the School of Agriculture, Natural Resources and Environmental Studies. I'm the Dean, School of Agriculture, Natural Resources and Environmental Studies. I'm Professor Peter Olokisinyo, a Professor of Soil Science. 
um, for the students who sat their exams and are supposed to join us in the 2021-2022 academic year, first years, I welcome you to the school. Um, I want just to let you know that agriculture and related courses are very, very important because agriculture is the backbone of this economy. Kenyan economy uh, thrives in agriculture and um, it is important that um, the course, the, the, the programs you have chosen are going to add value to yourselves and to the economy of this nation and the world as a whole. We are all, you are all aware that environmental issues are very important because of the, uh, because of the fact that we need sustainability and those that are taking environmental and related courses are also very, very important in this economy because without sustainability, we are going to perish. And that is what we don't want to really do in this nation. Um, we have the issue of the climate change, which is really affecting agriculture and everything in the world. And the people that can come up with solutions are people who are doing agriculture and related courses and also those who have done courses in environment so that we can sustain our economy and also the environment. The school you are joining has two departments, the Department of Agronomy and Environmental, uh, and, and environmental Studies, headed by Dr. Ivan Soma, who is a plant breeder, um, the Department of Agricultural Economics and Agribusiness, headed by uh, Mr. Gasta Nyangweso. Um, then the school has a number of bachelor's programs. One of them, I think uh, you have been called to join either one or two of the, uh, one of the following, uh, Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Extension and Education, Bachelor of Science in Agri uh, Environmental Science, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, we have Bachelor of Science in Horticulture. We have Bachelor of Science in, Agri uh, in uh, Agricultural Economics and Resource Management. And also Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness Management. These are the undergraduate programs in the School of Agriculture. Um, the school has, uh, is endowed with people, lecturers of high caliber, whereby the school has five professors, the highest number in this university. Myself, uh, Professor Peter Oloki Sinyo, who is the dean. Uh, Professor Keo Owar. We have Professor uh, Joseph Aguyo, who is a horticulturalist. Professor Daniel Nyamai, who is a natural uh, scientist. Professor Rama, who is a plant pathologist. We have Dr. Florence Oduori, who is uh, in food science. We have Dr. Beth Njeri, who is in agribusiness. We have uh, Dr. Um, uh, Dr. Ambuchi, John Ambuchi, who is uh, an environmental scientist, Dr. Uh, Peter Oyer, and Dr. George Ochola, um, who are also members of this particular school. We have also Mr. Anunda, who is a plant breeder. The school also has to have technical staff, including Mr. <coughs> Barry Olero, uh, who is a laboratory technician. We have Mr. Uh, Austin uh, Oyugi, who is also um, uh, uh, in the field, Mr. Nyaora, and Mr. Ngesa. These are the technical staff within the university. We also have, um, you are also going to interact with the administrative staff. Uh, mostly you will be interacting with the, the secretary in the school and also in the department. And we have a school administrator, uh, Mr. Brian Bonioli, uh, who will be helping you in registration and many other processes that will be carried out in the school. Now, um, there are a number of career opportunities for people who are doing agriculture. You can be employed by the county government, the national government, you can also join parastatals such as Sony Sugar, uh, such as Mumia Sugar, 
um, um, we have like uh, Miwani, uh, Chemelil, and many others, parastatals, which are cultural related, that employ students uh, who have graduated in agriculture and related courses. And also, you can also join NEMA, National Environmental Authority, for those who have done uh, environmental uh, science. Uh, we have also horticultural industries, the, uh, um, like the horticultural industries. We have the tea industries. We have also the um, coffee industries. Um, we have also the banks that employs uh, people in agriculture, students in agriculture. So there are various job opportunities. Apart from that, <clears throat> we are also training um, students to be job creators. And that is our strength as a school, that many of our students who have left this university, even before they finish, many of them have started their businesses and have also employed people. So as much as uh, you also can get job opportunities to be employed, we also equip you with the practical knowledge that you are able to mentor you to be someone that can do his or her own business. And that is one of our strengths as a school. We have a very strong team that are taking people from the agronomic aspects to business aspects that you require. Um, we have also career progression. You may want to continue with your education and in the school you can join and uh, take a Master of Science in Horticulture, Master of Science in Agronomy, you can take Master of Science in Plant Breeding, <coughs> Master of Science in Environmental Planning and Management, Master of Science in Environmental Biology, uh, Doctor of Philosophy in Plant Breeding, Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Planning and Management, and Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Biology. So all this, if you want to uh, progress with your career, you may be able to join one of these particular uh, programs to continue. And we also have those that perform very well. We, through our research, because the school is very strong in research, the school is very strong in research, in attracting funds in the university. Um, and uh, we can be able to give you scholarships so that you can be able to continue with your education. We have facilities which are quite good. We have the field station um, where you can do your practicals. We also connect with the industries where we can, you can be attached for, your practical, for the practicals. We work very closely with the industry. Those are the employers in the agricultural sector and other sectors. Um, uh, all this, we do them together uh, for the benefit of our students. And um, one of our strengths also is that uh, while people are talking about the competent-based uh, education, in the School of Agriculture in Rongo University, we started, this th uh, we started this long time ago because of developing skills of our students in agriculture and related fields and any other areas of businesses where we mentor our students. Um, we also have one of the best laboratories in the country where we are equipped for practicals with, uh, uh, um, um, uh, which uh, uh, is one of our uh, strengths and this laboratory is normally used by our students and also those within the university and even from outside because it is one of the best in the region and this is something that you can be able to ascertain by yourself by working to our laboratories in Rongo University. Otherwise, I want to welcome you all to uh, join us. We operate as a family. We'll mentor you in each and every aspect. And the, uh, the university also offers um, assistance for students who are needy. Particularly, we have the work program whereby you can do some work and then you get some little money here and there to help you. Um, our offices are always opened and you can always uh, come for career guidance um, in any aspect or in any area that you want. You can reach me through my telephone number 0723-320-168 or you can also reach me through the email. My email is kisinopeter65 at gmail.com. Welcome. I welcome you all 
to join our programs and also as a whole uh, uh, and uh, I also welcome you to Rongo University so that you can start your career in undergraduate. Thank you very much and I want to thank you for uh, having chosen Rongo University and also to congratulate you for having passed your examination. Thank you very much. Yeah, my name is Professor Michael Ntabo Mabururu, Dean School of Arts and Social Sciences. In this school, which is a pioneer school among the six schools in Rongo University, we have three departments. Uh, we have the Department of uh, Languages, Literature, and Linguistics. We have a Department of Economics and Humanities. And we have the Department of Social Sciences. These three departments are manned by well-qualified personnel, and we are lucky today they are among those who are attending this uh, very important occasion. I want to take the opportunity to, inv to invite them and introduce them so that uh, we, you can be able to know. So I will begin with the Department of Languages. So we have Dr. Karen Nyandiba, a very old, experienced uh, lecturer. She has been teaching in other universities, but now she happens to be here, and she's the head of department. Next, we have uh, Moses Obama, the head of economics and humanities, but standing in for the substantive head. He's also a long, experienced person in teaching. He's an economist. Yeah, maybe I forgot I should have said uh, Karen Nyandiba is a she is specialized in Kiswahili. The next head of department is uh, uh, Moses Obama. The next one who teaches economics. And in that department, we have economics and humanities combined. The next one is called Constance Ayabe, head social sciences, where we have also several disciplines. So School of Arts and Social Sciences it's a school which has several departments because for us we believe in an interdisciplinary. And given the nature of the globe, most societies now believe in uh, disciplines which are not independent but which support each other. And we thought it wise and because of that we came up with a program which is called BA which combines the three departments but if some students feel they want to be independent in some programs, we have three departments which are independent. But those who also want to do the programs which are combined where they take three courses each first year and second year, and where they, are strength, where they feel they are strong, they want to specialize when they go to third year and fourth year, they, they specialize in that by taking two courses. So this uh, school has uh, graduated a number of graduates who are doing very well in society in different perspectives. And uh, we try to get back to them and uh, they give us a positive response because in School of Arts and Social Sciences, we don't only focus on academic excellence, but we also focus on other values which adds to academic excellence. So we want to bring, or we have always aspired to bring up students who are holistically formed those who are uh, academically formed, but also who stand for values. And I think uh, to our thinking, those are the people who are needed by the current society. Because if you have the knowledge, but you don't have the values, service delivery becomes very poor. So in all these departments, we focus on that. We have lecturers who are uh, seconded to, to students to mentor them in terms of the importance of uh, academic performance, the importance of value, value added things to character formation. So our students, when they go out, they meet the society and well prepared for it because societies these days, they don't only want people who are only good in theory, but they also want people to do things practically because they are able to apply their theory into practice. So our students, who have graduated, most of them are now doing various jobs because the disciplines also exposes them to several sectors of the industry. And we are happy that uh, we have not had problems in terms of our students get jobs because 
they are prepared for those jobs. Even when we go for attachment, like now we have students who are uh, on attachment, most of the time you find that uh, those who are there, they are already retained before they finish, so that when they graduate, already they, are, they have their jobs. So we have several departments, like economics, we have a department like uh, literature, we have Kiswahili, we have international relations and diplomacy, we have uh, history, we have uh, religion, we have geography. It's uh, an array of all disciplines, but which, is, which are put in such a way that they are streamlined and combined to support each other. All students who, are, who feel like they want to be independent in a specialized area, they are also given an opportunity. So Rongo University is among those universities. It's a new university, but a very strong university in terms of academic excellence because we have qualified staff. And in School of Arts, unlike many other schools, we have programs from diploma, undergraduate, and postgraduate. Postgraduate means you can finish and do masters and PhD. And we have the staff who are able to man this. So when you join this school, you can just begin with your first degree, but if you so wish and if you are strong, of course, you can finish your PhD. And there are people who are able to do this. And also another aspect of it, we believe in teamwork. And when students come to Rongo University, we ask them to focus on what brought them here. So we encourage them to be in class when they are supposed to be in class. We also encourage them to participate in extracurricular activities. We also encourage them to join clubs. We have several clubs. We also encourage them to go to church or even to the mosque, those who are Muslims, so that we are uh, dealing with people who are not only in class, but people who can also excel in other skills, because uh, that is where now the society is headed to, due to this aspect of competence-based curriculum. So we are already in the process of inputting part of that to our curriculum, so that we are preparing students from first year who are able to be skill-oriented, and you know where they can be able to prove their talents as early as first year and perfect it before even they finish fourth year. So the education of these days, which we are talking about competence-based, is not so much of how much you'll uh, get in terms of first class or second class or third class or past, no. The education of uh, the global thinking now is that kind of education which prepares one to be ready to meet the market. Other than being a job seeker, also he or she becomes a job creator. And that is our objective in this School of Arts. So I'm very happy to be a member of this uh, school. And we have very supportive academic staff who are always willing and supportive of our students. And we encourage our students who have been called to this uh, uh, center of excellence to come and start learning and experience exactly that which I've been talking about. So I don't want to say so much about the school. The fact will remain that when you come, you will prove exactly what I've been saying, and the reality will dictate the, 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 the wording that I've been using. So I want to thank you so much for choosing Rongo University and first of all for congratulating you for passing and choosing Rongo University as uh, your university. And I can tell you there is no university that you can say is inferior or superior. All these people are here. There have been several universities in this country and outside. So what makes a university to be good is the academic staff and the performance of the students. So once you come, you focus, and you are close to your lecturers, you will be that uh, best student of Oxford University or Nairobi University. So don't be swayed by thinking this is a young university, therefore you, can, you will not get as much as if you are in other universities. What you get here is exactly what you, if not better, is what you can get even these other big universities. So just decide, and when you come, what we believe in, we say that students come, joining a course, and don't imagine that this course is this and that. And don't give in to pressure, because there are this many you want to go there. What makes a student to be a student is when a student is independent and makes choices individually, because you'll come alone and eventually you'll live alone. So please 
we ask you to be independent even from your parents. Parents may want you to say, do this or not do that. But you know, they will never be in class to attend this for you. It's what your passion and what you do in a university that it determines your future. So I want to thank you so much for choosing Rongo University. It is in a very good environment, serene, off from a lot of distraction, and we have all the activities which will make you feel comfortable when you are around. Thank you so much, and may God bless you all. I take this opportunity uh, to extend greetings to you on behalf of the School of Business and Human Resource Development and on my own behalf. The School of Business and Human Resource Development in Rongo University is headed by uh, the Dean, Professor John Ernest Odada, who works with two heads of departments. Uh, that is the head of Department of Business Studies, uh, myself, Dr. Jonathan Mulo, and the head of Department of Human Resource, uh, Tourism and Hospitality. I take this great opportunity to congratulate you on behalf of Rongo University and uh, on behalf of the School of Business for passing in your KCSE examination and commend you for choosing Rongo University School of Business as your destination of choice to advance your studies. In the School of Business and Human Resource Development, we offer a number of programs uh, leading to award of certificates, diplomas, degrees, masters, and doctorate uh, degrees. I take this opportunity to give you a brief journey of the programs that we offer in the School of Business. I will start with the degree programs. In the Department of Business Studies, we have uh, three degrees, that is Bachelor of Commerce or Bachelor of Business Management with six specializations, that's Finance, Accounting, Human Resource, Marketing, and Enterprise Development and Management. We also have Bachelor of Science in Supply Chain Management with three specializations, that is procurement and supplies management, uh, logistics and transport management, and project planning and management. And we have Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship. In the Department of Human Resource, Tourism and Hospitality Management, we have four programs, that is Bachelor of Science in Human uh, Resource Management, Bachelor of Project Planning and Management, Bachelor of Tourism Management, Bachelor of Hotel and Hospitality Management. Pertaining graduate programs, the School of Business and Human Resource Development currently runs two graduate programs, uh, namely Doctor of Philosophy in Business Administration with a number of specialization and Master of Business Administration with six specialization. We also have various certificates uh, uh, corresponding to the degrees programs I've just mentioned to you. Allow me at this moment give you a brief introduction and prospects as pertains to the various programs that we offer in the School of Business. First and foremost, I want to take this opportunity and inform you that uh, there is no degree program that is superior to the other one. What matters is the level of knowledge and skill that you get in that program. Uh, in the various programs that we have in the School of Business and Human Resource uh, Development, the ultimate result is to equip you with the skills that will enable you manage the various aspects that are found in various organizations that we have in the country and the world at large whether governmental, non-governmental, uh, commercial, or corporate entities. I'll just take, for example, uh, a few programs, starting with Bachelor of Business Management. As I had told you earlier, this program has a number of specialization leading to finance, accounting, uh, human resource management, uh, purchasing and supplies management, and marketing management. Where would you take these skills when you are out of this program? 
in almost every organization that you can think about, be it a church, be it a business entity, you need managerial expertise. You need people to run the operations and manage the various resources of such organization. Whether these resources are human resource, they are money, uh, materials, goods and services. You need uh, uh, human people or human resources to manage such, uh, such resources and facilities. So the skills that you'll get in these programs will enable you and prepare you to be in a position to run not only the operations but also the administrative aspects of the various organization. Taking a program like hotel and hospitality management or tourism management, uh, in this country we are known for being one of the best tourism destinations in Africa. Who takes care of these tourists when they are here with us? It is the people who have skills in tourism and hotel and hospitality management. Fortunately, the two disciplines are interlinked. When those tourists come, they don't just go to parks. They need places to dine, they need places to rest, and places to wine. It is the, 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 the people of hospitality and tourism management who manage the surface aspects of these uh, areas and give the tourists the comfort that they desire when they are around with us. At this juncture, allow me to once more welcome you to Rongo University School of Business and Human Resource Development, and I look forward to interacting with you more when you, uh, you report physically on the, to the university. Thank you very much. My name is Jane Kembo, Dean of the School of Education at Rongo University. Congratulations for passing well. Well enough to be admitted to one of the highest institutions of learning. I also want to welcome you to Rongo University and especially to the School of Education. As the School of Education, we will challenge you to be your very best. Today you begin another leg of your journey in academics. Celebrate all you can, but move on to the task ahead, the task of higher learning to knowledge and more understanding. Welcome to the place where the only premium we lay is on how hard you work to understand, to know, to investigate, and to research. We hope that you will enjoy your stay at Rongo University. Rongo is unique because it is rural, it is serene, and it gives you an opportunity to explore the surrounding without the noise of the urban area. At Rongo, you'll master your own destiny, a destiny that you will work at. There will be no bells to ring to wake you up, no bells to tell you to go to class, no lecturer will remind you that you've not been to class, because we assume those who come to Rongo are adults and are able to control their behavior and their timetables. And so as you start at Rongo and the School of Education in particular, where we train teachers who will be mentors, we would urge you to be people who are disciplined right from day one, people who are responsible for yourselves, people who know their background, who want to touch base with their lecturers, people who go to the library to dig deeper into what they've learned in class. Yes, you've been accepted at Rongo. That's the beginning. What you do in the first year is critical to how you set your goals and how you achieve them. We urge you to identify people who will help you, people who will hold your hands, 
people that you can consult during difficult times because you'll have some of them. We also want to ask you to identify mentors, people that you can aspire to copy. To achieve your long-term goals, we hope that you'll make smaller goals in order to achieve the long steps that you are aiming at. If you start well, you'll probably end well. Education, as we understand it, is the process of inviting truth, of seeking truth and seeking knowledge. And therefore, we encourage you to discover what will build you, what will enlarge your mind, and what will give you a chance at life. Remember that Rongo is one of the universities among many universities, and that you're one student among many competing students. So being your best and doing your best is not something I need to repeat over and over again. Make sure that you are never satisfied with good, because good is not excellent. Please take note of the following important people. In the School of Education, we have three heads of department. I would have liked them to be here so that you can see their faces. But they are serving the university in supervising teaching practice students in the field. These are people who will guide you in subject combination selection should you have a problem. The first of these is the head of psychology who also coordinates the subjects that are science based. She is called Dr. Sharon Onditi. Please take note of the name. The second is the head of Curriculum Instruction and Media, generally shortened as CIM. She is called Dr. Elizabeth Halili. She will help you in selection of art subjects, should you have a challenge. My third head of department is called Dr. Otara, and he heads the Department of Management and Foundations. Please also note that you will be taught other courses from other schools, especially the content courses, chemistry, biology, mus uh, music, business, geography. Kindly get to know the heads of department in these schools. Also, although it seems so obvious, get to know the lecturers that teach you. If possible, get to know their full names, get to know their telephone numbers. Because when there is a challenge in the subject, you will need to talk to them. Future mentors, teachers, leaders, again, I want to welcome you to Rongo University and to one of the largest schools in the university. Please don't get lost in the crowd. Stand out. Be the best that you can be. Because in future you will be competing thousands of other teachers who want to be employed. Thank you. Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Francis Ongaichi Olal, standing in for the Dean School of Science, Technology and Engineering, Professor Charles Mbakaya. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to Rongo University, particularly at the School of Science, Technology and Engineering. 
I also want to congratulate you for the excellent performance which you enabled you to be admitted to Rungu. The school is made up of three departments, each headed by a head of department. The department are the following. Department of Physical Sciences. This department has the following programs. BSc Chemistry, BSc Physics, BSc Fashion Design and Technology. The second department is Department of Mathematics. This department has the following programs. BSc Mathematics, BSc Computer Science, BSc Statistics and Computing. The third department is Department of Biological Sciences. This department has the following programs. BSc Zoology, BSc Botany, BSc Microbiology, BSc Biochemistry, BSc Public Health, and at present we are developing curriculum in BSc Nursing. At the School of Science, Technology and Engineering, we teach students STEM, thereby effectively preparing them to be innovators. We will also challenge you to be good scientists, researchers, and job creators. We also have collaborations from other universities and institutions. But one, we have Wuhan University of Textile in China. Wuhan University has trained our students at master's level. We also have USAID through the Ministry of Health and the University of Nairobi, dealing with ICT and health IT. Also in the textile unit, we have a production unit or IGCU, which produces uniforms, different types, graduation gowns, lab coats and dust coats. This is where the first years will benefit when they will go and buy the lab coats and dust coats. We want to assure you that We'll work closely with you for the next four years of your stay here for you to achieve your vision. As you make your plans to achieve all this, please feel at home at, ST, at SSTE and enjoy your stay at Rongo University. Welcome and thank you.